As soon as Jesus and his disciples had crossed the Sea of Galilee, you remember when Jesus walked on the water and calmed the storm, the people flocked to him from all quarters, bringing the blind, the sick, the lame. Of Jesus, more than of anyone, we could say that his life was not his own. Of course it wasn't. He gave it up daily for us. Calvary was the ultimate sacrifice, but every day and night Jesus was giving himself for others. The world couldn't contain the size of Jesus' heart, and the inspiration of that has endured for 2,000 years so far and shows no sign of abating. Now his righteousness permeated all that he did and all that he had, including his very clothes. If they but touched the hem of his garment, the people were healed. And that's what was happening by the Sea of Galilee on that day when they arrived from over the other side. Now there are two theories as to what the hem of his garment was. The first is exactly that. It's a border, it's a hem. It's just the lowest part of his robe like the manna in the wilderness that appeared on the ground and could be picked up by the smallest child, so the healing virtue of Jesus was accessible to everyone. Now the other theory, which is very interesting, is that being an observant Jew, Jesus would have worn a tallit or talis, otherwise known as a prayer shawl. The main purpose of the tallit is to hold the characteristic fringes that are called tzitzit, the plural is tzitziot, and they are fixed to the four corners of the shawl. Now, here is a tallit given to me by a good friend, and here are the fringes. You can see them clearly there. Can you see the knots there? Those knots, and there's the fringes, and there's four of these all together. The number and arrangement of the knots is highly significant, representing the 613 laws of the Mosaic Covenant. Now, a Christian can't wear this. Why? Because the tzitziot indicate that the wearer is subject to the Mosaic laws. And for us Christians, that would be a denial of Christ's sacrifice on Calvary, whereby he delivered us from the law, and we are now, hallelujah, under grace. But back to the story. When the, when the sick touched the tzitziot, they were making contact with the righteousness of Jesus, and they were healed. He became sin for us, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21.